Hello, I'm John Clothier and welcome to my wood turning channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making a pen and the kit that I'm going to be using is the Levetti from Beaufort Inc. So I've got it all laid out in front of me. Now I've got the, the kit as it comes. I've got my bushings and I've also got the upgraded nib that you can purchase to go along with it. So I thought we'll deal with this at the end, but let's have a look at what you get inside the main kit. So here are all the pieces laid out. Now this is the fountain pen version. It's also available as a rollable. There are also different plating options, gold, gunmetal, etc. but I've got the chrome. So starting from the top, we've got the, the cap finial, the clip, we've got the, the plastic adapter, we've got the, the barrel connector and the finial at the other end as well. We've also got the two brass tubes. Now, one thing that I really like about this is if you're used to turning the Mistral kit, these are the same size diameter. So the drill bits will be the same. That's the 2564 and the 1532. The nib end is 46 millimeters and the barrel is 65 millimeters. So for this kit, I'm going to use this piece of Indian rosewood that I've got. So I'm going to start by marking out where I need to cut it to size. Then I'm going to take it over to the bandsaw, cut it, take it over to the drill press and drill the holes. So let's start with here. So I've got this bit of inclusion I want to try and avoid. So I'm going to go for about there. That should give me about there, which should be about the right size. Okay, so that's that marked out. Let's take it over to the bandsaw and get it cut. So with the blank cut, I've marked a line so that I can keep the grain orientation. And now I need to find the center, which I'm gonna use my small center finder for. So now I've mounted the blank on my vise, and I'm now gonna drill the hole with the pillow drill. Now with the wire brush attachment on my drill press, I'm just gonna rough up the tubes ready for gluing. So with the brass tubes now scuffed up, I'm gonna just put some dental wax in one end so that I don't get any glue down it. So I'm gonna be using some CA glue today to glue the uh, tubes in. So I'm just gonna put some onto the brass tube. And insert it into the, into the wood. Right, now let's just leave those to set up for about 10 minutes or so. So now I'm back over at the lathe and I've trued up both ends of both blanks with a barrel trimming tool and I've mounted them in the bushings on a mandrel. Now these bushings also have a ability to turn uh, between centers but I've gone from a mandrel on this occasion. Now it's important to note that and this nearly caught me out and I'm glad that I reread this a couple of times that the largest two bushings for the cap are different sizes and you want to make sure that the larger one of the two goes in the middle. So in order of size, as far as the bushings go, and this is the outside diameter, we've got largest, second largest, third largest, fourth largest. Okay, so now let's get it turned, get it sanded, and I'll put a coat of melamine lacquer on it, and then we'll take it over and put it together. <laughs> off the wall but tonight I'm letting it go spend my coin for sure okay so that's turned and sanded to 320 grit now I'm going to apply some sanding sealer with the sanding sealer now dry and denibbed I'm going to apply some melamine lacquer Now 
Right, let's take it back to the bench and assemble it. So now it's time for the actual final assembly. I've laid out all the parts and I've also got all the upgraded nib parts out as well. So let's have a little quick look at those. First of all, inside the little tin, you will find the nib. There's also the, the chrome surround for the nib. You get a premium ink converter and an ink cartridge. So this replaces these three sections here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to screw these two bits together. Okay, so now I've got that, let's just put these bits to one side because I won't be using those. Okay, so for the first part of assembly, we'll take these two pieces here and they just press together. Now, because I'm concerned with grain orientation with this, I'm going to assemble all of the metal work that's going to be at the joining section before looking to attach anything to the wood. So the first thing is the attaching the nib. Now making sure that everything is nicely tight and snugly tight, but obviously without making it over tight. Okay, so now I'm gonna screw these two sections together. Right, now I can start to attach the wood. Because that is now in its closed state, I know that wherever I put these, they will always be in that orientation when it's closed. So let's start with the cap. So I'd like the clip to run across through the center of that dark section. So I'm gonna aim for the nib to go in at that point as well. Use my arbor press to put it together, to push it together. Now before I unscrew the other section, I want to line these two bits up so that I'm happy with where they are. And I think about there. So now I'll just lightly press it on, then unscrew it. I have to remove the nib, of course. And then using the arbor press, put it into position. So now I can apply or attach the clip and the cap finial, and they just slide one over the other. It's a quite a tight fit. Let's get it just roughly in place, lined up where I want it, and again into the arbor press. Okay, so that looks really nice. Now when it comes to attaching the barrel finial, again, because that's got a screw thread so that you can post the cap when you're done, by putting it into the cap, I can now line it back up. Actually, let me just put my nib back in first. So I can line it back up with the nib so that when it's posted, it still all matches and lines up nicely. and then press into position. So that I can test it, I'm gonna take the uh, ink cartridge, press it into the nib, screw onto the pen barrel, screw on the lid, and we have our finished pen. So let's just test it out. So there we go, there's the finished pen. I really like this, it's a lovely pen and it feels really nice in the hand as well, it's a good size. So yeah, really pleased with this. So why don't you go and check out uh, the Bofing website, maybe order yourself some. I'll speak to you again soon, bye for now.